everybody been so today we are going to introduce the 420 Wolverine build to you guys I want to give you guys a little update of what's going to go on what you're going to see going forward it's pretty awesome and I'm pretty excited for it so I've always been a saltwater guy I've been in for years I've dabbled in the freshwater stuff a little bit but never really dove right in so I always want to do a large scale build so this 420 Wolverine build is going to be awesome freshwater planet tank and I can't wait to show you guys all the crazy ideas I have. So I've been doing a lot of research on everything that you need to do to these tanks. I find it, A, it was a little bit more challenging, I find, than reef tanks. I've been in reef tanks all my life, but jumping into the freshwater stuff, it's a little different. So I've had to do a lot of research, asking a lot of questions to hopefully be successful. So let's start off with the, this bare canvas. So this tank here is a 420 with a 120 sum. I had this built out of Calgary, just like the Hulk Reef. Uh, by Concept Aquariums. Uh, thanks Dave for shipping this out. It's pretty awesome. Dave and I went over all the dimensions to make something cool that would do a really good feature on this build. So this tank is all glass, custom stand, custom sump. I like glass. It's very durable. It's nice. I find acrylic, you know, it scratches very easily. It is a little lighter, but the glass has been awesome. And I want to thank my buddy guy, James Flynn, for helping me pick up my tank in Ottawa and bring it home. It was just the two of us. I got this big uh, tank in here. I'll drop some pictures now or at the end. You guys can see us getting it into the house. So it was just the two of us, but we ended up doing it and it took us all day, but it was definitely worth it. So yeah, all glass, uh, 420 gallons, uh, four feet wide, uh, eight feet long. It's very large, it's got a great size footprint. Uh, the sump, we're gonna be running a sump on this uh, build, just like a reef tank, great place to put all our controllers, put a refugium in there. It's gonna be awesome. So. With this build, I want to bring things back to DIY like I did with Farmer Reef out of the gate. Everything was DIY back then. So this here, I want to start doing that again. I want to do our DIY plumbing, DIY lighting, all kinds of stuff. A, the lighting I put on here, I could go high end, not a problem, but I'm trying to think, you know, do I really need to spend all that crazy money? A, I could get a really high end uh, LED light. I could go mid level or, you know, I could just buy something off the shelf somewhere and try to you know incorporate it and make it cool because really we just want to grow all these plants in here so it doesn't need to be crazy uh, expensive so I have some awesome ideas I'm going to show you guys hopefully you guys like them if you don't like them you don't like them if you do you do um, we are going to do like I said all the custom plumbing on this tank I was going to order all the uh, PVC from uh, Canada PVC but to get the color in is going to take a long time and I don't want to wait so I'm gonna do like I did in my old days. I just color coded all white PVC to make it go with this build. So that's what we're gonna do. We're actually gonna have two one inch uh, return line here and we're gonna have uh, two uh, uh, inch and a half from the return down to the sump. So this tank can take on a lot of water, a lot of flow. As well, um, I had a few different companies sponsor this build. They jumped on here. So a couple of the sponsors, we got CJ Pulse. They are gonna be powering this system. They got their uh, Synchra's uh, SDC's uh, Return pumps here. We'll do some unboxing. Check it out. But awesome pumps. Very compact in size. Lots of flow. Uh, very controllable right from your app. We're going to be running those. are going to be the, the heart of the system. We are going to have some uh, extreme SDCs fully controllable. I want to have lots of flow in here. Like just enough flow because A, I'm going to have driftwood and rocks. So I don't want any dead areas. So with these pumps here, it's going to help create that flow and pick up that detritus because yes, yes. There is detritus in a freshwater tank, and we want to make sure we keep our tank nice and clean. So those is what we're going to be running off of there for the power in the systems. Plus, I'm going to be running a Tulo Fishes reactor with some carbon here. I got uh, Fritz is another sponsor of this bill. It's awesome. They sent down a lot of their trace elements, uh, the bacteria. We're going to be running bacteria on this tank to get started. Different water conditioners, all kinds of fun that they did. So thanks a lot, Fritz, for jumping on. You guys are awesome. I'm looking forward to trying out your products and give a little review on those. Um, what else we got here? Uh, we are gonna put full control system on here. I wanna be able to control all my pumps, my lighting, heaters, ATO, all kinds of stuff. So Coral View just introduced the new controller on the market, the Hydro's Control 4. I'm gonna put a nice display board together. We are gonna hook up that controller because 
I'm going to be running CO2 on this tank. So we're going to have a solenoid. I need to run the CO2 with the pH. So the hydrosporin controller will do all that for me. The ATO. So I'm pretty excited to try out that new controller on this build. I'm going to give you guys my review on that. Uh, my buddy, uh, Beeves Reef, check him out. His tank there, he just got a new control for it as well. He's going to be put up a lot of reviews and uh, how he's liking that controller. I'm excited to try it on a freshwater tank. Like we're gonna put a lot of high-end gear on here, but at the same time, we're gonna do some DIY and we're gonna keep it fun. So the same thing is we are got, uh, we're gonna put driftwood in here. I've got my father, my father and I, we went out to the bush. We found a bunch of driftwood, some really nice cool feature pieces that we can put in this tank to bring it alive, a place for the fish to hide and just swim around. Uh, it's gonna be pretty awesome. The soil too, I'm doing the soil all DIY. I calculated how many bags of soil or yards of soil I'm gonna need in this tank. It was over a thousand dollars. Like that is ridiculous. I could not believe it was gonna cost me a thousand dollars worth of soil substrate to put in this tank. Not even like the, even the sand. Like that's crazy. I didn't realize. Like I understand when I bought sand for my reef tank, it was somewhat expensive. I got a deal on it, but I was looking for you guys and your fresh water to put soil in this thing. Holy smoke, a thousand bucks. Not happening. So that is all DIY, I'm doing that. Did a lot of research on DIY soil, why not? I'm gonna save a thousand bucks out of my pocket. That's not even a tax. So we're gonna be doing that as well with all the plants, I'm excited. And the fish, can't wait to get the fish in there. It's gonna be a great bill. The same thing, I'm gonna try doing a living wall scape as well. So I got some great ideas on that. But I just wanna show you guys going forward what we're gonna be doing here today. Everything's gonna be custom, uh, all the stand will be custom finished on the outside. Um, we're going to have our control board, we're going to have our CO2 cylinder, ATOs. It's just going to be awesome. I can't wait to get this baby set up. Same with the sump here. We're going to have the refugium. Um, we're going to have plants in there as well, a little grow light for different ones. If you want to trade uh, different plants with my friends, it's going to be awesome. I'm just looking very forward to doing and trying something different than just, you know, reef tanks all the time, dabble in this. I'm pretty excited. So. I'll take you guys for a little tour around the tank, and then I gotta get my button gear and start getting this tank uh, all put together, get that content out for you guys. You know, like this is a learning process for me, like this scale of a fresh water. Hopefully I'll be successful, been doing lots of research. Uh, checking like, you know, Dustin's Aquarium, he's got a lot of great research on there. A lot of different guys, so hopefully it's gonna be good. And if you guys just leave your comments below, I'll definitely get back to you if there's anything you'd like to see on this tank moving forward or if you guys have any uh, advice for me like I said this is new for me and uh, you know I'm gonna learn you're gonna learn you know I could fail I might not fail but it's definitely up there and uh, thanks to all the companies you know that shipped out all these products for me to try on here I'm gonna give you uh, you know my honest review on everything that's here but I'm liking what I see so far and you know Fritz they do fresh water and reef tanks so they know they, they know what they're doing so it's gonna be pretty awesome. So further ado, let's uh let's check out the tank a little bit, and then I gotta to get to work, get things started, so you guys can uh, start checking out all the videos that are gonna be coming. All right, so a little tank tour here. So this is the main display here, as you can see, and this is uh, the overflow box. You guys see down inside. There's pre-drilled. So I got two inch and a half um, overflows down to the sump, and then two one inch in each corner that hit it through these little knockouts here. So it's all made of glass and then acrylic over the top. So it's all been machined. So it looks pretty awesome. So we just have to paint the back out so it makes it match it. So that is, uh, so you guys see from this angle. So there's some of the pumps are there. That'll be for the flow. And then this is the two, I got two of these for the return. So there's one, and there's two, and I got two of these puppies as well right here and then all the fritz uh different products plus uh algae barn is uh jumping on they're on board as well they have their fresh water line so that's pretty exciting uh this is the sump here so we have our different chambers right here will be the, the from the overflow box here i'm gonna have floss probably put like an egg crate floss it and then in here i'm gonna have like a refugium area where i can put uh, my reactors and everything and then the two uh sacra return pumps will be in here I'm gonna color all this sump up, color the back wall. I'm probably gonna build and put a controller here, the control board, so we control that. I have the Coral, Coral View uh, Hydro uh, 4 Control 4 controller there. And then probably down this end, the CO2. I am the, I've got some live rock there that I gotta get rid of, but I got a few things to do, but we're gonna get there. So this is the tank. 
I'll try to give you guys a different angle here. It's hard to tell, show you how big it is on uh, on here as well. Move this out of the way. So for one end, when you're sitting down here, you guys can see the length of the tank. You get an idea of what's going on. So I gotta figure out what, how the light I'm gonna do here. I gotta move the tank out from the wall. It's actually too close. So I can't run my electrical for all my lighting in the back. And I'm probably gonna do some kind of canopy overhang lighting. And this wall, I'm gonna make a live wall. I'm pretty cool, I've always wanted to do one of those. So I can do like, I don't know, a different kind of system, like live uh, plants that are growing down into the tank. So it's gonna be pretty sweet. So that is the Wolverine 420 guys. This is what we're gonna be working on. Hopefully everything is gonna turn out be cool. I'll be able to sit here on my couch and look down here at the fish from one end to the other. Give you guys a bit of an idea of what's going on. So yeah, so there is the tank that we are gonna be working on, gang. This is the new build that we're gonna be working on today. So I'll be pumping out the videos uh, as we go and you'll see every step in every process. I'm gonna try to detail it as much as possible as we're going here and it's gonna be awesome. And especially this soil, uh, I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna get that soil and how we're gonna get it in here because I'm not spending over a thousand bucks worth of soil, that's crazy. I like to keep a little bit of my money. So that is the build guys. So appreciate you guys turning in and checking out and seeing what we're doing here. Like I said, this is new for me. Take it easy on me. Leave your comments below if you have any advice going forward. So if you guys could uh, you know, hit that little like button. If you guys could hit the bell. I know a lot of people have been messaging me with why they're not getting their updates because they haven't hit that little bell in the corner. YouTube makes it so much more difficult to get your notifications now. It's crazy. So if you guys can hit that little bell, get my notifications every week for my build here or the haul. All those videos coming out, I don't want you guys to miss and check out. And if you guys can just smash that uh, subscribe button because I greatly appreciate you guys, because because of you guys, I get to keep making content and going forward in this hobby, and I really enjoy it. I enjoy learning and interacting with you guys. So please hit those buttons, it would be awesome. So please subscribe and hit that like button.